We just just get on, and now we're heading back to our farm. contact our grader to build new roads, wells, and build up our foundations for new houses. We do this because 18 wheelers will be in and out of the farm to bring feed and catch chickens. We need solid building foundations because if our houses sell too much, it can cause our houses to misshape and become less stable. We also fit our contractors for the same reason. The contractor gives you the basement of the house and what it will cost. This is what you use to compare contractors. The material used by the contractor is very important because the houses must be stable. Wheat material and the bad craftsmanship has caused many chicken houses to collapse under the weight of little snow and hurricane winds. The growing company will come check the house fix, and that will determine if you get a grow for that company. In the contractor work, we also talk with the NTRCS to get grants for our clear sheds and composters. And a part of the grants from the NTRCS, we plant grass ahead of time as erosion protection. After the farm is set, we get a trailer delivered for our own side worker. So I must be able to get to the farm in 15 minutes if something's wrong. If something goes wrong, the ventilation, our chickens can suffocate quick. So we always have a worker live on site. Having a worker two to three minutes away, along with our gate security system, keeps these away. People love going and newly built chicken houses and still on the run out of the house. Now for the chicken girl. Before our bees get there, you want the temperature up to 93 degrees. 48 hours before they get here, the temperature set to 80 degrees. After 24 hours, it's bumped to 88. And then the day they get here, we put it on 93 degrees. The temperature of the house will then ramp down to 60 degrees over. The 62 days, the chickens are in here. This is done through a computer system and goes down an increment of one-tenth of a degree. House fans are the first on for cooling. They start out putting on every 30 seconds, every five minutes, and gradually increase to 60 seconds by day three. This also comes along levels by bringing in fresh air. High ammonia levels can blind the chicken and cause respiratory problems for them. The rest of the fans are staggered based on temperature rising or lowering. We also use cool cell and mist called fog, but too much of that will make the lid wet, which is bad for business because it makes the chicken's feet black. The temperature also affects how you move 
the bitties through the house. You also get less bitties during warm months. They feed the chickens by tray when they are small. More feed, more spread out. Help all the bitties eat and grow there. We also put paper under the water line so it pops and show the chicks where water is. The paper has to be up in the first 30 hours and receiving the bitties. The chickens are on a feeding schedule of 24 hours of extra bite light for seven days. This helps chicks grow fast because the chicken will eat his own is there is not. Then we move to nine hours of darkness a day. Four days, eight through 25. Day 26 to five days before pickup. Chickens are living in dim light with four hours of darkness. These are based on humane guidelines from the National Chick Council. Chickens will then live in dim light four hours a day for the last five days before the market. Your growing company adds this schedule for pickup and feed orders for the last week. The best scenario for picking up all your houses at once. But they usually divide it between mo multiple days because of time constraints. While you have the birds, you are obligated by contract to walk the chickens once a day. This allows you to pick up the dead, check for problems, or disease, get the birds moving. If you don't pick up the dead, your birds will be susceptible to diseases. I dermatize. We get rid of the dead by using a composter. You mix 1,000 pounds of sawdust, 1,500 pounds of chicken, and 500 pounds of litter. After your catching day, you have to clean the houses. We use the crusher to get the hardened layer of litter off. Then we dump the litter near the litter shed where we use it for crop farming and compost. We then wash the ceiling and fans with our pressure washers. We'll also use this time to spray insecticide. If you had any black bill problems, the final step before to get chickens again is PLT, which stands for poultry layer treatment. A company contracted by your grower spray this to kill the ammonia in the house before the new batch of bitties get there. So a turnaround between flock is about two weeks to 21 days. This concludes my tutorial on chicken houses. Like and subscribe for future farm content.